Pleasure to meet you, Ross. All right, give me a couple of good qualities to why you think you're fit to be an officer. So, as I said, uh, I don't know if that convinced you, but so, like, I speak very loudly and like an old man. And I think these are some good qualities. The, oh, yeah, I also have a very small, you know, thing down here. Uh, my, my left foot is smaller than my right foot, so in combat, when people try shooting my left <coughs> foot, they actually miss, and I survive. And you believe this would make you a good officer for one reason? Uh, yeah, so, like, when I scream at people, they really like it, and then, well, or more so, they get scared, and then they stop talking to me, but that's fine, because... They, they don't say anything against me, so therefore no one will ever know that I'm actually bad at doing my job. You have an attitude of your eyes. How would you improve your attitude? <coughs> improve your attitude as an officer? I, I wouldn't. I don't think I, I have to. I'll just kind of keep doing what I'm doing, and then people get scared enough to never mention anything about my bad personality ever. Uh, I can keep going and no one will notice, really, because they're too scared to speak up against me. Ross, you are a narcissist and a bad leader. Why do you think these irredeeming qualities will make you a good officer? And what is, what is your most negative trait? I think they will make me a good officer, really. Um, I just want the position so people keep, you know, being my goons. I, I don't think I would actually be any good at the job. <laughs> I, I, I doubt it. I fairly doubt it. But... That's fine, because, you know, again, uh, my method is to fight them with fear, so I'm kind of untouchable. <laughs> like, consider me, I, yeah, actually many things, so, at the top of my head, I don't actually have anything on, on my mind, but, but like, a lot of things, like, I don't know what exactly, but I'll get there when I get there. You have no plans, aspirations, or thoughts being an officer other than the skirt you get. It looks cute though, doesn't it? I feel like it, it fits my voice. Err, I'm Ross. Do you have any people skills of any type, manner, or brother? So, like, once I was babysitting my niece, and, and she was crying really hard. I don't know, her parents were gone. I hadn't fed her for about a day or two. And then I gave her food and she stopped crying. And I think... Yeah, that speaks for itself. All right, can you give me three examples of your negative traits? I think there are any negative traits about me, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, right. yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll rip over here, remind, I, I do kind of have a small, you know, I, I told you about that one, so, but other than that, I don't think there's anything negative about me. All right, what about positive? All the things, like, think of a positive word, and that's me. Like, um, Happy. uh, sexual harassment, me. Um, I, I would say I'm happy. And I, maybe not all the words, I, I wouldn't say I'm happy exactly. Um, sad, sad, that's, that's more like it. Yeah, I'm sad. Um, depressed, also me, yeah. Not a people person, <laughs> see, also me. There, there are a lot of positive things that come to mind when I think about myself. Um, for example, abusive, yeah, you know, As that, that kind of stuff. Would you abuse your power, uh, favorite certain troopers do in nepotism? Definitely. Um, I already answer that. I got one fun. Definitely. Uh, no, no doubt in my mind. Uh, I, I would abuse the shit out of it. Like, I'm, I, I would be a good officer, uh, as everyone would agree, out of fear. But, you know, I, I'd abuse it. Sure, why not? What do you think about your other candidates? <laughs> the other ones going for officer. <sighs> Candid I wouldn't call them candidates, per se. They, they're not really competition. So it's like, it's whatever, like they don't really exist. I'm not scared of them. Like, I'm not, I'm not scared. No. You can use one word. Scared, stop looking at me. Oh, my, my bad, Ross. I mean, if you can describe <laughs> Twisted, AWRP, TJ, the other bird people going for officer in three words, what would they be? Freaking stupid. I don't understand. You have no qualifications. You haven't even given me any experience. 
You don't have any plans for the future. All of your pros or cons, you have a tiny penis, and you, you're, you're, you're a narcissist. All right, I mean, do you, do you have any experience at all being an officer? I didn't say pee. I said I said foot. My left foot was very ah, small. I I didn't say the p word. Do you have any experience at all? Do you have? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. So in kindergarten, there was this one kid, and it kept bossing everyone around, and then I just kicked it in the face. You kicked it in the face. And it passed out, and then everyone kind of saw me as the yeah, and then everyone saw <laughs> me as the leader, kinda, and kept running after me, and they kept cheering, Ross, 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 and then I just I got nervous, and I started kicking every single one of them in the face. So you just assaulted a bunch of people that looked up to you. Did did I stutter? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I did. Can you give us your real voice? <laughs> I, I don't understand. You've given me so many reasons, not only not to pick you, but to throw you in the middle of a street, to be hit by a bus and then picked by vultures. You haven't given me one redeeming quality, and well, for, quite frankly, you've just you've been quite a menacing person this mm, entire Okay, well, I, I, I think you're kind of being a, a little harsh, uh, a little right. harsh to you. I, I do have one uh, really, so I really, I think the commander is really cool, so I think that's, yeah, that, that's something that really speaks for me. you have anything else to say, you have five minutes to say it, or you can go and we'll pick our new officers. Mm, yeah, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all the people that have brought me here to this point where, you know, I can say with a certainty every single person in this battalion hates me. And while that is the case, I also know that deep down, they really, really hate me. And I think that makes me a good candidate because having people hate you just kind of gives you... A reason not to be by it, by it, by it, by it, by it. But he hates me. I have no reason to, you know, take anyone above any other person. I just hate everyone equally, and they hate me. And Fucking every ouch, every night, I Fucking just ouch. I just want to cry. But it doesn't bother me that everyone hates me. <laughs> it doesn't. Anyway, well, I, I'd like to be officer. We'll give you a call. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time. That really well in that interview. Job. I think that went really well. I think you've got the position. <laughs> Reporting for duty, Commandante. Oi, wait, no, I'm Ross. In this scenario, I'm Ross. Ah, I see. Alright. Ross. You, what? You already have identity issues. Okay, so wait, so this is, I'm gonna, see, I feel like in, in that interview back there, I didn't really convince you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you firsthand all the changes I'm gonna go through once I'm warrant officer. Okay, so let me introduce you to the shooting range, okay? So this is where we go when we get really pissed at someone. So let's say Ronan over here. Ronan, could you step inside? Has been getting on my nuts all day long, right? I'm really pissed, so I'm really bad at aiming. I'm gonna start shooting and then accidentally hit Ronan over here. The thing is, I'm gonna sell it as me accidentally hitting him because I'm Ross and I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. But obviously I'm not gonna shoot him right now. Adventures? I don't go on any adventures. I'm an old man and all I do is cry myself to sleep. Sorry, I'm very important so I, I just got a message because I'm really important and everyone wants to talk to Ross. I thought nobody likes Ross. Oh no. So this is uh, the kind of situation Ross gets in a lot of times. He just walks in uh, and then ruins everyone's mood. Everyone's mood and everyone's fun. Excuse me, did you just say that I'm gay? I would never do that. That is a beautiful behavior. I will not stand for I this. Always do. I only say nice things oh. to Ross. Ross. Okay, I so. Ross, you are my favorite. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I believe him. See, the thing is I'm very gullible and dumb, so I believe everything people tell me. Thank you very much. I believe your word for it. This is where I go when I'm very sad and just die, so I take a couple of shots right here, I pass out, I wake up, and I get back to my office of duty. Have you ever woken up naked? Uh, I have quite a few times, actually, because I'm Ross. I don't wear clothes in the first place. So, I, I don't know, I feel like I, I should do like some kind of eeny meeny miny moo kind of thing. I wanna die. Oh, that actually hurt, fuck. What seems you're not very good at what you do. <laughs> no. Not very good at anything I'm doing ever. So, uh, turns out these are the barracks. We walked in the wrong direction, but that's fine because I'm Ross and there's no wrong where I go. Wherever I go is the right direction. So let's walk all the way back. <coughs> okay, so I handle the responsibility of being Ross. That's a good question. Um, Alright, stop PMing me about your wiener size. I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, so yeah. Um, how do I handle the responsibility of being Ross, yelling at people? There's a simple but magical answer. I don't. Don't handle it. I have a rage. I'm a raging alcoholic. I have issues. Um, my kids all hate me. They hate me. <laughs> they actually, yeah, they do hate me. Um, but not because of me. It's more so because they have a stepdad and he's kind of cool and doesn't doesn't scream at them and plays with them and like whatever. He hasn't gotten them into car crashes. I mean, oh, I, I feel I feel like I'm getting a little off track here. Um, what I'm trying to say is, the day being Ross is nothing, nothing. You just turn off your brain. You cry a lot. I did under a lot of screaming. Uh, yeah. I mean, if that doesn't make you want to vote me for officer, warrant officer, I mean, personally, I believe I am fit for a high command, but I guess we can talk about that another time. No, ma'am. Uh, so, my bad, sir. No, no, sir. Being Ross, can you stop interrupting me? I'm holding a speech. Disrespectful. See, if I was an officer right now, I would arrest you. I'd AOS you. Get your ass clapped, dude. All these uh, reasons are why I believe I would make... A great, a fabulous warrant officer. Um, yeah. Vote for me or vote for no one because I'm going to kill you if you well, I believe there's a actually right don't vote us. for me. Money up, 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 and stuff. That is against the rules. Please do not do this. We'll see you on another on the other side. Take one person with me. I am sorry. You mean I can take one person okay, with me? Behave. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. You are uh, correct. My bad. Sorry, we're late. We were uh, we're eating yes, a bad there. bean burrito. To, uh, Commander, please. You know. Get up, Commander. Get to right, the boarding Ross. party. Oh, the elevator. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold uh, it. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. All right. Imagine being red, <laughs> like all the time. I understand being red, but all the time, that just sounds painful. Dude, I, I'm Ross, I'm Ross. Okay. Do the voice. I am. Do the voice then. <laughs> Nice, uh, nice oh, chat. <laughs> oh, let me do my best. Let me do my best, Sergeant Ross, buddy. Uh, okay. I'd like you to uh, do uh, hand push-ups. Uh, uh, I'm Ross. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hand push-ups. Shut up, fag. You don't talk to a commander that way. <laughs>